This video will show presettings for EMI Design Rule Checker. This feature is a licensed extension of Altium Designer with paid version. It must be used in an environment where Altium Designer is installed. Please be sure to use it on a Windows PC with Microsoft Excel installed. EMI Design Rule Checker requires three settings, Net Property, Component Property and Design Rule Parameters. For the first step, let's set Net Property. Click EMI Design Rule Check menu and select Net Property. Excel and Dialog Box will be launched. In the Excel file, input frequencies in megahertz for critical nets such as clock, address bus or data bus. And then please select either G for ground or V for power in GV column. You can set other parameters for detailed setting when needed. Once you set all parameters, click Set Parameter and then close to complete net property setting. For the next step, let's set component property. Click EMI Design Rule Check menu and select Component Property. Excel and Dialog Box will be launched. Type in Column B is mandatory for Component Type. EMI Stream automatically estimates type based on the component information or component naming convention of the Altium Designer, and displays it as the default. Check whether the IC, capacitor, and resistor types are correct. For example, Component type which name starts with C is automatically set to be capacitor, and component type which name starts with U is automatically set to IC. Once you set all parameters, click Set Parameter and the Close to Complete Net Property setting. Now you can save the net and component property information you have set in a lay file. Click the File menu and select Save As. File selection box will be displayed and you can enter file name to be saved. The information you saved here can be reused next time EMI Stream GUI is started or after the board layout data is changed. Lastly, it's time to set design rule parameters. With design rule parameters, you can change the threshold and setting values for each design rule. NEC's verified values are set by default. You can rely on these default values, but if you have any internal design guideline, please change the values accordingly. The item number 1 to 15 on the left side of the dialog or design rules. Click rule you want to change, then change the setting value on the right side of the dialog. After changing the value, click save under the file menu. Parameters you have set here are also kept next time EMI stream starts. This completes the rule check parameter settings.